Okay, we got a new image of the next uh, track we had to make up. Torday have been putting on some absolute bangers lately with the Bowser Castle remakes and uh, the, the new Athens track. Just, just, just some really cool stuff. Um, and this looks fantastic as well. Um, this is in a tweet because they like to tease at stuff. Uh, I'm sure like an image. This one's less of a teaser. I'm also just a fucking shot of the entire track. Right, like, like we, we, we are basically all we need to know <laughs> from this screenshot. Um, and it looks fantastic. Um, if you know me, you know that I really like Mushroom Bridge. I think it's one of the best Double Dash courses. Um, in terms of Double Dash itself, it's like my favorite course to drive on. Um, in terms of like the the, the, the theming and the concept, I, I prefer others, but I think that one's the best racing track for that game. DS uh, fucked it up because they got they, they added railings, you can't go on the side of the bridge, and you can't go on the uh, on the street. You can't go on the pathway thing. But if you look at this, clearly the bridge is you you can drive up it again because they've got dash panels on it and boxes. And also, if we zoom in here, and this is what started people believing Mushroom Bridge or Mushroom City were going to be in tour because these are found afar, the Mushroom Car, and more importantly, the Bomb Car, which explodes when you touch it. So that's really interesting. And also we have seen, you know, you got the typical toad cars. No caterpillar car it seems <laughs> but it's really cool to have uh, a, a new car and the bomb the, the bomb car back because those are crazy you know that that alone offers something very unique to this track but then you got the return of the bridge and that that would be so crazy in eight deluxe that would be so crazy i can absolutely see the boxes up there being becoming double boxes um, uh, it, it looks great as well. It's such a another very gorgeous looking glow up here. I like the little mushroom statues on the sides of the bridge. Again, I love the little cartoony art style. It, it, it's something I do like. I know people complain about it because oh, it's, it's not it's not graphically superior to the base age tracks. I don't care. This art style's better for me. If it's Mario more, I feel. Um, but yeah, the track itself looks brilliant. This is a very faithful remake with the the uh, dash panels on the bridge, and also, and I am shocked to say this, but it look yeah the paths are back. You can see little Mario over there, his head popping up. You can go on the pathway. They didn't even need to do that. They could have left it out completely, and as long as you had the bridge, the track would have still been great. That is really cool. Um, I love the, the little pathway back there for the shortcut as well. Um, that was really good. But, I mean, if you look over here, the little pipe shortcut seems to be absent because there's not any space down at the end of this particular cliff. Which, again, that's fine. Um, it's another thing that's... It, it could be, well, it, it's fine that it's gone because it's one of Double Dash's weird. Um, we took um, a, a shortcut, but we made it a long cut because you get boxes for taking a much longer path that looks like a shortcut, which is weird. I think it works with Double Dash, but it, it, I get why it's not a thing in your games. Even though it looks, of course, there's double boxes now. Um, but when you have like so many double boxes on the track, I, I guess it, it it makes sense not to include them still. Um, but yeah, this looks great. And do I think this will be in the boost course pass? I think so. Now I I think this has a very solid chance of showing up. Um, particularly if Wave Six is a two GameCube tracks in one. Mushroom Bridge is obviously considered a more like simple one i think that's I, I think that's not particularly fair but i get what people mean by that um 
So they could have that alongside a more important one or whatever. Um, and I, I mean, maybe worse, back to oh, we're in that bridge or city and the boost scores passed because of the, the the leak that they were one of them and probably both are inevitably going to come to tour. That I, I I didn't really think much of that because I thought um, oh, of a tracks that haven't been leaked from all that could show up anyway. You know, DK Mountain did. So. I, 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 I never really thought I meant anything, especially because Mushroom City would just be a bad pick for the DLC, right? Because it's just, it's another city track. Um, it wouldn't stand out, especially when it doesn't have changing laps. It would feel pretty shit, honestly, um, to race on it. I, I think that would be a pretty bad pick even though I like the track in Double Dash um, it hasn't been remade but I, I, this isn't the game for it uh, that's one I'd say for the next Mario Kart I suppose um, you could put it in Tor though absolutely um, there's no harm in that um, but yeah Mushroom Bridge is a perfect pick I feel um, but for, I mean I, I think it's a fantastic track this looks like a really faithful recreation it offers something new with the bomb cars, of course. I I think this is a very perfect pick. My predictions before had actually lent to... Because what everyone knew was Waluigi Stadium, which we've gotten. And the other three, which... People are starting to suspect, oh, there's only two. Which, no. That's a massive reach. They swapped Maple Trio with a GameCube track. They didn't replace a GameCube track with Maple Crew, you know, um, so I, I, I don't think that argument has any value, I, I think we're still getting four door dash tracks, I sure hope so, because we already has enough, um, tracks, reps in the game, thanks to the DLC, having at least one per wave, um, so, so yeah, I, I, I think now this is my complete position. And the pick, predicting the double dash chest was a really tricky one for me. But I, I, I think I know. But I, I know our predictions. And I, I, I think, like, because I should probably do an update prediction video at this point. Because I feel as more time goes on here, the final two waves, like, like they just make more sense what they're going to be. You know, I, I thought, oh, they're going to have Double Dash's Bowser Castle before the Rainbow, the Wii Rainbow Road in Wave 6. You know, I thought that would be their out there pick rather than Mushroom Bridge and Mushroom City. Now they see Mushroom Bridge, I think they're going to get Wave 6. Probably. I still think Wave 5 is Daisy Cruiser just, cause, just for the summer thing. That's my only real basis for that. But also, it, it's a standalone appearance of a of a double dash track it it, it does the trick <laughs> it's the fan favorite one so don't these groups have to get in and then there's the Black and Diamond jungle or dk mountain situation i honestly think they could have had both but when there's only two waves left they're not going to have them back to back are they so i think it i think it should be Dino Dino jungle but I don't know if it will be. Um, but yeah, I am quite confident on Mushroom Ridge showing up in either Wave 5 or Wave 6, particularly Wave 6. Um, and this looks very great.